it's most people think I'm just a hostess. You know, it's like, oh, you're, I'm like, yeah, the enforcer, did you read that article up on the wall? And they're like, oh, yeah, well, why are you doing this? I'm like, because I want my business to work. Oh, you know, so I do go through all those dynamics uh, with people. Um, when they come in. But like I said, you know, I had a comic recently and he's one of my favorites. He's played the club at least three years, you know. Um, he came back, Friday night was good, Saturday night, you could tell he was on top of the world because they're so egotistical. And then um, his first show went okay, but the second show, which is my 1030 show, which is crazy because, you know, they have the highest expectations of these comics. And so he's on stage doing his same set and it didn't work. And this poor guy came off the stage and I was like, well, what happened? And he looks at me and all of a sudden tears start coming out of his eyes. And I was like, oh shit, I just made this guy cry. And everybody's looking at me and I was like, don't look at me, I didn't do it, they did it, you know? And it's like, it was so weird because immediately everyone out there thought I made this guy cry. And all I said was, well, what happened? And he's looking at me like, well, I, I, I don't know. I was like, well, did you get spooked? He was like, well, no, I did what I always do. I was like, well, you can't let the audience get in your head. You've got to flick the switch. I told you, the 1030 show is crazy like that. You know, they've done all these things before they get here. you got to bring your A game. And he was like, well, I was. And I was like, oh, come, lay on mommy's chest. You'll be okay. It, it'll be fine. You'll be all right. And he was like, oh. <gasps> And he looks around the room and he's like, oh shit, I'm crying. And there's other comics in here looking at me and my head is on her chest. Like literally, because he's a short guy. And his head's on my chest and I was cracking up. And I was like, you'll be fine. And that's what they love about me is that on one hand, I'm like bitching them out, so they think. And then on the other hand, I'm embracing them to say, okay, let's talk about this. We'll get you to this point or don't do this, try that. And I do that all the time. 